G'day guys, it's Jesse here from the True Footy YouTube channel, back again with a tier maker. A call back to last year when everyone was getting around him. I was doing them just about every week at one point. And in today's video, we're bringing it back with the rating of AFL team songs. Oh, what's that you say? Tier makers are for boring and uncreative people and it's shit content? <laughs> Well, too bad, because in today's video, I'm going to be rating the team songs, because this is something I want to do last year, and I just kind of ran out of time. But I'm kind of glad that I didn't do it last year, because there's one or two songs that have changed since that time, uh, that has dramatically changed where I would rank them in the league. So, as usual, guys, we're using tiermaker.com, uh, good source of a lot of AFL YouTube content. Uh, we're going to have all the clubs here, and as you can see on the screen, I've got five tiers that I'm going to rate these teams in. We're going to start with Elite at the top, then there's Good, and then there's a middle section I've made, Bad But Charming, where, you know, you kind of accept that the song sucks, but I like it. And then there's an Average Ones, where I don't really have any strong feeling about, and then the Shockers at the bottom. Now, I'm going to get straight into it with my club, guys. I used to love the Eagles song, and I know I'm biased, but... I reckon with a new version, with Birds of Tokyo, it is the first absolute shocker on this list. I'm going to put it in the shockers. It is up there with the worst song in the league. Uh, I am emphatically saying that they are shockers, probably my bottom ranked song. Now let's go to the other WA team. While we're here, Fremantle, you'd expect I'm going to put in the shockers, partly because it rhymes, but also... It's not actually that bad a song. I'm going to put them in bad, but charming is, let's face it, it's, it's a horrendous song. But I must admit, even I kind of like it when it's playing at the stadium. Not when they're playing against the Eagles, obviously. But I've been to a few Dockers games. It's crap, but it gets you up and about, particularly as a fan. It's unique to them. I don't mind it. It's bad, but charming. Now, I'm going to go with my favorite song in the league. And no, it's not Tigerland. I can't stand Tigerland which I'll get to in a second. But my favorite song in the league is the Sydney Swans. I have memories of being at the 06 Grand Final, uh, obviously the West Coast versus Sydney. And as the Swans were running out, I was like, God, this song is good, but I hope I don't hear it again for the rest of the day. And thankfully, I got my wish. Now let's move on to Richmond though, because this is a popular one for everyone. Most people love Tigerland. Now I'll just clarify, I have played football for two clubs in my adult life, both of them. The songs were Tigerland. They were both called the Tigers. One was, one was called the Panthers, and we called it Pantherland. Uh, and I still don't like the song that much. Uh, probably, I just went through a period where I really didn't like Richmond. I'm going to have them in good. It is a good song. Technically, it is a great song. But for me, not elite. Sorry. Don't like it enough. Now, to throw in an average one there, let's just see who... Who I think is an average song. I'm just trying to pick one out here. I guess Melbourne. Um, there, there's like that's like an old sort of like American-y song, isn't it? There's it's kind of adapted. I guess most of these are adapted. I'm not going to mark them against that. I just don't think it does that much for me. So it's kind of just indifferent, and that is why they're average. Port Adelaide. I'm going to say is oh, it's either average or shocking. It's pretty bad. Um, I'm trying to think how it goes off the top of my head. We got the power to win. The power to win. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty lackluster. I'm going to put that in the shockers. Sorry, Anthony. Adelaide, on the other hand, I do kind of like it. It's the same song as my Waffle Club, Perth. Um, we're the bird of South Australia. Ugh. It's probably, I'm going to probably say good. I don't know. Definitely biased because it's my other team in the Waffle, but yeah. Brisbane Lions, it's the French national anthem. Do, 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 It's pretty fucking bad, to be honest. Uh, is it a shocker? It's pretty bad. I'm going to say shocker. Yeah, that's right. Navy Blues. Um, not great. Probably not a shocker. I'm going to say average. Essendon. See the bombers fly up. I will probably have to put that in the good category. Yeah, that's one of those old sort of old-fashioned songs, but it actually works. I quite like it, to be fair to them. Next up, we got the Geelong Cats. We are Geelong. Uh, mm, is it good? Or is it average? It's not bad, but charming. Oh, probably average, to be honest. I don't think I care for it that much. And at the end of the day, this is just my opinion. Gold Coast, just much like the team, 
bad but charming for me. Yeah, I'm trying to think how it goes. We are the sons of the Gold Coast Sky. It's pretty bad, isn't it, technically? But I kind of dig it, probably because it's such a treat when you hear it, because, you know, Gold Coast never win. Oh, the Giants, they are hard to place. I'm tempted to say bad but charming, because they, I don't think it's a good song, but it kind of got made into a meme, which kind of makes it a perfect category, uh, for, perfect for the category bad but charming. It's, it's actually pretty good. Uh, I'll say bad but charming. I'll say bad but charming. It's probably a bit harsh, because I think it's actually technically a better song than the Fremantle or Gold Coast ones. But uh, it's also a little bit cringe. Yeah, it's definitely not average, though. Hawthorne's song is very, very cheesy. And I got very used to hearing that through that 2013 to 15 period. We're a happy team at Hawthorne. Yeah, it's, not, it's obviously not original. Um, and it just doesn't sound that good. I'm going to say average for me. North Melbourne's is another weird one. Um, to join in the chorus. I'm doing it one for all. Yeah, is that even the lyrics? <laughs> I don't know. I hear it that rarely. Uh, average. It's not It's not a shocker by any means, but it doesn't really get you up and about, which is a very important consideration for team songs, and that's why I had the Eagles. I reckon their old song was crap. Maybe you could say the Eagles' old song was bad but charming because I dug it, but uh, and I reckon it was a great song to belt out. Um, yeah, and that's that's why some of these teams are just average for me. St. Kilda is uh, when the Saints go marching in. Yeah, you'd have to give up points for um, belt out ability, which is a term I just came up with. That would be pretty sick to belt out at the end of a win of a big game or something like that. It's not original, obviously, but it's not a bad tune. I'm going to say it's a good song. And uh, I just realized we don't have too many elites. I'm going to put Collingwood in the elite. It is a great song, good old Collingwood forever. Now, uh, I remember when I was a kid, I used to sing that song so much around the house that my family started to think I went for Collingwood. I didn't, uh, but it was just such a tune. The Bulldogs is a very another very hard team to place. Sons of the West. Mm, good memories of it associated with uh, their 2016 grand final win, one of my favorite grand finals. Probably my favorite grand final that didn't involve my club. Um, it was pretty good when the sign went and that started, started playing. It's not amazing though. Is it average or is it good? Is it average or is it good? It's probably average. So, I mean, I guess you can see overall, I don't have a huge inclination to a lot of songs. There's five teams in the average pile uh, that I couldn't separate. My club in the Shockers, along with Brisbane, Port Adelaide, Frio Gold Coast, and the Suns, um, three of the four youngest teams, three of the four newest songs, are bad but charming. Uh, good was Richmond, Adelaide, Essendon, and the Saints. And my two favorite songs in the league are Sydney and Collingwood. And yeah, my favorite one is the Sydney Swans. I just think it's an absolute banger. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in to yet another True Footy video. It's been a while since we've done the tier makers. Might bring them back. I mean, people can criticize the format, but I like it because it's just a very clear and concise way to rank things and ranking videos. You know, there there's endless possibilities. You can just twist it to, to make anything. I might even start making my own tier makers uh, to really just open it up a little bit because I reckon there's a lot of things you can do with this website. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.